Twinkies, Twix candy bars, Cupcakes. Oh, the whole freaking dumpster is packed. Look at that. Advertisements come up with freaking candy. Open. Oh shit. Brand new though. Oh, I might have to open it. Shit. Do they get blood on it? That brand new shirt with blood on it. Just do it. Let's take that. Take that shit out. <laughs> Unreal. Dumpster zombies, crazy folks. Looks like we got one black bag instead of three. One had melted ice cream and the other one had uh, friggin' potting soil in it that was all ripped open, but we got magic minerals. Concealer and covers. No freaking clue what the hell is this? Curtain rod. Little curtain rod unit. Green beans. Quick oats that are open. Oh yeah, new socks. I needed some socks. Mickey Mouse bar and some friggin' paydays. Lots of paydays in there. Green beans, green beans, paydays. Shit, we struck out, folks. We got a bunch of paydays. And some socks. Well, I needed some socks. Look. Mismatch. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who knows whose socks these are? They're not mine. He's paying for all Clover Valley's mess socks. Oh. oh, shit. <laughs> Look at the Col Clover Valley quick oats. They're getting paid up there. They must be. They're throwing shit away that don't even expire yet. June of 2021, there's two of them in here. Yep. More unexpired food, yeah. Look at all the Clover Valley can goods, good till 2022. What? All green beans, all the same shit. Imagine they got dents in every single can. 
2022, 2022. Yep, half the case was dented. What's wrong with you, Clover Valley? Shit, you need to make your cans stronger or something. Like somebody smack that up against the storage shelf. They just had a green bean problem up there. 900 cans of green beans went bad. Mm, those are good. Four or five, 2019. You guys seen me dig the carrots and potatoes out? Is that more carrots? Yep. These are the potatoes. Oh, there's more. Boom, all the canned goods are still good. I can't get a good shot. Oh, those those expired in 2019. They got one can that was bad out of all those canned goods right there. Yeah. They need to have a dented canned goods section. Somebody would have bought them for a penny a piece. Oh, check what I scored up at Walmart, ski folks. <laughs> Some hand ones. The cool ass colors they got on the bottom. It's for the kid, folks. For the friggin' kid. They want to be pretty comfortable. They're $17.87. $2 more than the shack shoes. These are pretty cool, though. Shoes at Walmart. That's what I got on shit. <sighs> what? Pretty cool looking shoes. Not bad. I like the flat look. Strong ass velcro. Yeah,
big ass can. box of food out of here. There's a shit ton of you folks. Never seen so much food. Peppers and this shit. Alright, I found some stuff. Iron board cover. Another iron board cover. And underwears are soaking wet. Batteries, it looks like. Oh, shit, load of batteries. I was wondering why that bag was so heavy. sleeper pants, two sets. More batteries. Another thing of batteries. Shit. I just got. Alright. 
if I wouldn't rip that freaking bag open. I would never know when that shit was in there. Clothing time. Clothing time. See the piece of the charger fall to you. Freezing hands, folks. Freezing hands. Look at more love shit. Yeah, that whole bottom of the bag was full. Felt like friggin' stupid ass packing paper. Oh yeah, they're friggin' packed full of shit. Is there anything good? So I gotta dig to the bottom to find that out. Cases this shit already. I'm hopping up in here. You ever wonder what Harbor Freight's dumpster looks like? It's like this. Look at all the coupons, folks. Holy shit. Look, it's a lot of newspapers. Printed a little bit too many ads this week, folks. Printed a little bit too many ads. Alright ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, dumpster diving finds of the night besides my blood soaked Nike shirt that I haven't washed yet and I still got in a bag outside. What I got? One, two, three, four Jack's pizzas. Hey, that's my kid's name. He, he'd love some Jack's cheese pizzas. <laughs> I grabbed one package of footlongs. You know, who knows, we might want some footlongs. Cocktail smoked sausages. The last time I grabbed these things, we took them, cooked them up, and put barbecue sauce with them. Oh, yeah. Those are awesome. Barbecue sauce. I grabbed one package of wings that, wow, fully cooked bread wing selection sections. Holy shit, five pounds. Five pounds of wings. I had to grab the Uncle Ben's rice. Oh yeah, I grabbed a power bowl, healthy choice. We grabbed the Uncle Ben's rice. Food service pack. Ten pounds of Uncle Ben's. What? Got a chocolate peanut butter brownie. That looks delish. Still sealed up in the package or what? Oh yeah. That's awesome. Big ass chocolate six pound brownie. Your birthday's coming too? My, bra my birthday brownie. <laughs> Dumpster Zombie's birthday. I could add all kinds of this shit. Don't even look that good. Look. Signature mashed potatoes. Got some low fat cottage cheese. Uh, all purpose ground tomatoes with added puree. Vanilla pudding. See, these cans had some dents in them, folks. I'm guessing that's why they threw the big ass things out. I mean, I'm not the smartest person in the world. Oh, nope, 2019. And pineapple chunks. Those usually last a while. What? And I got some clothes from the Dollar Stow. Dollar Stow, Dollar Stow. Oh, yeah. Dumps to zombie time. I feel like we've gotten a pair like these already. Yeah, the kid was wearing them, the pink ones. No, no, we, we have a different pair like this. Love. But they're in a size small. Oh, we're so in love. Come on, Coop. What you doing? Oh, they sell little Adidas pants. Are they? No, they're no. Zone Pros. <laughs> Too big for me. 2XL. No wonder why they threw them in the garbage. Nobody goes in there and buys that shit. They're going to Walmart to get their clothes. These are all my size. <laughs> yeah, but. Half of it I wouldn't wear though. Oh, this is cute. Mine. Well, we got a bunch of dollar store clothing, folks. Let's check the price tags on these beasts. Oh. That one's 10 bucks. It'd be useful if I ironed. Yeah, I know, right? We got two of those. We got two of them tonight. That one doesn't tell us what the price is. Ten bucks. Twelve bucks. Twelve bucks. That ground beef was twenty-three dollars and twenty-four dollars. 
I should have grabbed the friggin' hamburger. Oh, what do we got in there? Them things are soaked, eh? <laughs> yep. Two packages of men's sleeper pants. Maybe three, I have no clue. Say real tree on them. Six pairs of underwear. Two of these ironing board things and a shitload of batteries. The batteries. They were probably all corroded, it looks like. Maybe not. We got batteries. And I got some ding dongs, donuts, lifesavers. Could have had Ritz crackers, whatever I friggin' want, folks. Definitely should have grabbed more food from the friggin' food dumpster. Look at the shit they were throwing out. Uncle Ben's rice. They're gonna empty that beast tomorrow. Powerful. Hopefully they don't empty it till Monday and we get some more shit out of there. Not. We'll have new selections. Alright you guys, you see where the store is wasting their time destroying the Nutri-Green bars? They're 63 cents on clearance. Look, I don't even eat the damn things anyway. And they probably paid somebody $8 an hour, $9, $9 an hour to sit there and destroy the three boxes of granola bars for two hours. Oh my shit. 63 cents a box. Think about it. And we got some new shit in there. What is it? Holy shit. Yes. Meatballs. I've heard of meatball seed. Brownies. Oh yeah. All kinds of stuff. Craisins. Barbecue bagging strips. Green free food. We got dog food and everything in here today, folks. We gotta get this shit out. Advil liquid gels. I don't even know that none of that, but dog foods, eh? Tutti fruities down there. Throw that tape down on the ground. One bag of food. And four originals. Begging strips. I don't know if you want any of this vinaigrette shit. Ooh, look at all that shit. Coconut creams. Oh, there's even baby food. No friggin' clue. Shots out to hostess, man. They can feed a homeless guy for a year. Holy shit. We love Hostess. Love freaking Hostess. We're gonna get up some dog food and some freaking Hostess brownies here and get the hell out. Couple of them. I've been leaving a lot of food because you never know other people might be digging too. Gotta leave them some treasures. Looks like there's a desk or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, we need the begging strips. I love that shit. Look at that big ass dog bone, man. I gotta hop up in here. Looks like we got a clock too. Ooh, yes. Alright. Alright, guys, in the dumpster. Broken ass wall clock. They even busted the thing too. There's two of them. I have to take all the glass out of it. That's a gray one. Leave the brown one. I like it. And there's another one here, I believe. Broken candle. That one's not broke. Lots of glass. Lots of trunks. Drunk soda, a bed frame in there. Yeah, each can's worth 10 cents, folks. So, every time I dig a can out of the dumpster, I'm getting 10 cents. No shame to my game. Another clock. 
Cootie Fruities. Dog food. Megan strips. Damn, man, there is so much dog food. Unreal. My dog's gonna love me again. <laughs> Can't keep a little summer down away from this damn dog. So shit. That was human food for a second. Need more dog food. Oh, there's a silverware tray in there. Oh, yeah, there is. I freaking got so much shit out of the dumpster. There's two of them. Here. I got so much shit out of the dumpster. It's like basically a brand new house. I'll show you guys again. Let uh, me do that. Let me do that. Baby, baby, shit. We didn't need. Huh? That candle is a bit. That clock. Yeah. Candle broke. Oh. Smells like uh, baby powder. Fresh baby powder. More drinks. Ooh, that's sweet baby Ray's secret sauce. Dumpster wings. Barbecued over here. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Eating dumpster food. Who would ever thought that one day you'd be eating out of the dumpster? Mmm. It would be that good. Mmm-hmm. Dumpster got a little bit bigger. Shit loads of craft books. Oh. Like the same shit I just donated to the thrift store. Going books. We might have something in this dumpster. I don't know. books I just found. They're expensive as shit, like $18.99 a piece. Look, they got yarn and little things. Fuller 14 piece GM stamp set. I'm gonna grab one for my kids, couple of them for my kids, and I'm out. That one comes with a 2020 calendar. All kinds of it here it is. Yeah. Loads of books. I have to get a friggin' box of them. Can't let all this shit go at least. Dug them out last year and donated them to. Look at them all. American quilters, cast iron skillet books. They packed most of them. Bag of crunchy. I want that shit anyway. I want jerky. What? Good ones are probably underneath all this shit. Shit. 
All right, YouTubers, dumpster diving finds with Dumpster Zombie. I ain't been finding crap lately. We found a few things of dog food one night and a couple clocks. And then another night we found friggin' a couple canned goods and some meats. And then another night I found a bloody Nike t-shirt. Uh, another night I found some batteries and some, like, $100 worth of friggin' clothes from the Dollar General, including these uh, real tree pants. Shit, something fell. Some real tree pants. I got two pairs of those and some other random clothing. I gave a bunch of it away already. And I found a bunch of freaking crafting books. This is like $2,000 worth of crafting books, believe it or not. There's about 100 books. They're $20 a piece. Uh, I believe they're $20. I have no idea. Some of them say $20. Some of them say... $19.99, some of them say $14.99, printed in the UK, this is America, damn it, we want our books printed here, shit, you guys better start learning how to print books unless you want all your money going in the garbage, <laughs> each one comes with something different, cool ass crafting things, I grabbed them because this is my thought, I've been to the, going to the thrift store, I was like, shit, their magazine rack sucks. The old ladies are going to love these. What? I'm going to take their magazine rack and turn it into a bunch from a bunch of old people magazines to some cool-ass crafting magazines with 3D kits. And I might take some of them and donate them to the school like that. I don't know. They give prizes away at the schools. We'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with them. Like, the kids at school ain't going to know how to sew shit, but... They might not make like a stamp kit or something. Like these ones right here are pretty cool. Come with like little craft kits. Paper craft essentials. That's pretty neat. We got ones with stamp kits and shit. Big time money. This is the second time I've gotten magazines like this that come with little kits and shit. Last time I had a bunch of ones with sewing stuff like this. They're a little bit overpriced if you ask me. I mean, I don't sew much, but I wouldn't want to spend $20 on a freaking magazine. Holy shit. And in here I got a bunch more magazines. Art, quilting, Bella Grace. That's a $20 book. 20 freaking dollars. Usually I don't grab magazines until I started seeing the prices. Joanne's has got some freaking expensive ass magazines. Even the Better Home and Gardens is $12.99. What? $12.99 for a freaking book. 15 bucks for that. Hopefully they didn't get paid. That's all I gotta say. This is $2,000 worth of paper a year. All you gotta do is print out your own books, put price tags on them. Throw them in the dumpster. Start your own store. Throw them in the dumpster. Card set. A, a card set? Look at all these cool ones. 17 stamps in there. Oh, that one's neat. My kid's going to like that. Look, that's neat. Over $35. Shots out to the UK for all the cool ass books. I like the videos the girls will be making over in the UK. Look. <laughs> Holy shit. Shots out to all the dumpster divers on YouTube. I've been watching a lot of cool dumpster diving videos. The scrap sensation. Four minutes into a video and all I've been looking at is magazines. And I got big ass canned goods. I got some freaking dog food. This shit's seven dollars a bag. So you do the math. Seven and seven's fourteen. But there's twenty-eight. Twelve dollars for these bags of dog food. That's twenty-four bucks just in them two bags. Like I like animals and I like cats and dogs and shit. But I'd be feeding them the expired food instead of wasting our gas to ship this shit. Well, it's a waste of gas. Waste of gas, waste of energy, power in the factories. All kinds of shit. Best Buy 3-5-2020. That ain't even outdated yet. 
shit. It's not even the 5th. I found that on the 27th of, or 28th or some shit of February. Look, I just opened the bag, look. Oh, did you hear something? Come here. Yeah, you heard that. I just opened the bag. Look, the dog come running. Oh, they don't like it. I don't think you like that kind. I think you wanted a different kind. Oh, don't choke on it. Now you're going to ruin the video. Yeah, I set the pile down. I'll go and look over here. Then I'll go to look back. They like lick the, lick the whole pile up. Where'd they, where'd they go? Shit, we're gonna need to spend another seven dollars. <laughs> These things feel so soft, I could eat them probably. The dumpster zombie could probably eat those. And I got a bloody Nike shirt, which I gotta soak in peroxide. I'll show you that on the next show. I give some of this goofy dog over there. Yeah, dog treats, begging. Are you begging? Are you gonna be begging? Let's see you beg. <laughs> it's good enough, eh? Good enough. The batteries. Oh yeah, and these clocks back here, they had pieces of glass in them. I busted the piece of glass out. Now I'm gonna use the clock. We got ding-dongs as usual. Hostess brownies. Big ass thing right there. Um, That's a cool way to do the donuts. They got them in individually wrapped packages. Shots out to Hostess on the donuts. Good job, good job. We like them like that. Little crunks. Little crunks. Nobody drinks that little crunk shit. <laughs> we got lots of money in dog food, I know that. I found a candle, and there was a bunch of friggin' boxes with, there was four bowls in each box. I went and busted, or opened the boxes, there was three busted bowls in one box, and then there was only uh, two busted bowls in another, so I ended up with three bowls out of eight bowls. So out of two four-packs, we got three bowls. And I got these two stupid things. Broken. They probably broke them when they threw them in the damn trash. I guess. Same with these clocks. I went back to get the other one. It was gone. Damn it. Got two of them anyway. They're $22 a piece. 22 big ones. It's $44 in clocks. Shit, we save hundreds of dollars, folks. We save hundreds of dollars. We're going to take our craft magazines and try to give that shit away. Need that around my house. I just gave a box away. Last time I took a box of them to the thrift, or to Goodwill. We really like Goodwill. We're going to take it to the St. Vincent's next. St. Vinny's is getting these ones. Yep, I'm Dumpster Zombie. I'm out. What? Now, how many chicks like that have you seen crochet shit? Come on now. That's ridiculous. They just put her on the cover of the magazine just to sell more copies. I'm on to yous. I'm on to yous. What? Oh, look who's on the front of Crochet Monthly. Holy shit, boys. I'm in the wrong business. I thought it would be some old lady. <laughs> nope, they got a swimsuited uh, model on the front of the Crochet book. Holy shit, look at the sweater she sewed up. Crafty, freaking crafty. I don't know about that one, but that one definitely swimsuit edition, crochet monthly. Oh, we up the price twenty four ninety nine on that one. Holy shit! Two hundred eighty one piece bumper gift set. It's got all kinds of cool stuff in there. What? We can make our own Christmas cards and shit. Not like we don't pull enough out of the trash from Hallmark, but we can start making our own now. I still got more magazines in the car I forgot about.